Hi and welcome to another video tutorial from PeaceMeg TV. In today's WordPress tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at responsive elements that are available to us in Slider Revolution 5. We're going to take a look at how we can control the way that these slides are displayed on different resolutions, both large and small. And we're going to give you a good understanding of how you can control the way everything is displayed in your slides. So let's take a look at all that right now. So at the moment, I've got a demonstration page open and we've got three slides all making up a slider from Slider Revolution. If we take a look at that, they look great at this size, but what happens is when we shrink them down, that's fine. Everything scales proportionally and keeps on looking good. But once we start to scale up and go past a certain point, you can see we start to crop the image across the top and the bottom. So we start to zoom in and with an image like this, that's fine. But when you've got an image like this woman's head, you can see that we start to cut off important features and it looks a little bit weird. We can easily control the way that these are displayed on screen. And this is probably a better example. You can see that as we get larger and larger, we start to crop off and we'll start to lose parts of the image. Well, we may not always want that to happen. So if we take a look in the slider settings, we've got a couple of different options. We've got auto, we've got full width, and we've got full screen. Well, for now, I'm going to keep it to full width. And if we take a look underneath, you can see we can control the grid sizes for each different type of display that we work with. So we can work with desktop, notebooks, tablets, and mobiles. Now, at the moment, you can see that my grid size is set to 1240 pixels by 550 pixels. So what that's effectively saying is that the 550 pixels controls exactly how high our slide is ever going to be. So that's the maximum height it's ever going to display at. That's why when we go slightly larger, we're finding that the image is staying, uh, well, the, the portal to the actual image itself is staying the same size, but the image behind is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and we start to crop things off. So what we can do to control that is we can use the respect aspect ratio option underneath. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to make the actual window size itself grow proportionally to maintain the aspect of the picture. So let me just put that into demonstration and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll check that to make sure that's on. You can see now that the little update on the picture itself there, it changes to reflect the fact we've just made a change. And I'm going to come and save that. We'll switch over to the site, refresh the page, and we'll see the difference. So let's just put that back to a smaller window. We'll resize, as reload the page. Once that's refreshed, you can see we've got the image as we expect to see it. And if we shrink things down, it does exactly the same thing again. So when we get to mobile devices, that's fine. Everything is displaying correctly. But now we find once we go over the 550 pixels, that is the height of the image itself, you can see that the aspect ratio now is retained. So the height of the slider so it now scales proportionally to ensure that we still see the full image. So we no longer lose any part of the image as we resize we'll always get to see the full height of the image, and that overrides the setting that we set up to be the maximum height for the layer grid size. So obviously this is the kind of thing that it has to be in the right circumstances. If the image is important that you have to see everything in it, or a certain proportion of it, then cut down your images, scale them to the size that you want, and use the respect aspect ratio option to maintain that aspect on larger displays while retaining the size on smaller displays to scale proportionally. I hope that kind of makes sense. Hopefully the demonstration gives you a good understanding of what we're talking about there and gives you a sort of visual demonstration of what I mean. So before we move on to the next option to control the way our slides are displayed, I'm just going to put the respect aspect ratio, turn that back off, resave my slides, and then I'm going to switch back over and we'll start making some changes to the actual slide itself. So I'm just going to come to the slide editor, let that load in. We've got all our slides available to us. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the source settings. And if we check that, you can see we can control the way that the image is displayed within the confines that we set up with the grid size. So at the present, you can see we've got the background position is showing center center. So what that does is that scales the image. Let me refresh this a second. Just we look at the right one. So that scales the image based upon the center point of the image. So that's fine with an image like this, but when we take a look at the second one, that's not really going to work for us. We realistically need to keep the eyes in focus and not worry too much about the hands and possibly the mouth. So let's just shrink this back up so we can see the full image. We'll switch back. 
So you can see we've got a lovely photograph there. And as we get bigger and bigger and bigger, we start to lose the focal point and it kind of makes no sense anymore. So let's go back to the admin. And like I say, at the moment, you can see we're on center center. Let's just change the right slide. So let's just select that from the options. And this could be done on a slide by slide basis. So you've got images like the first one, which the center center kind of works really well for that. And we'll do the same thing for the third one and the fourth one. But the second slide, it doesn't work so well at. So we'll come over to the source settings. And if we expand this, we can now see we've got a range of different options available to us to specify exactly how the position of the image is calculated. And what we're going to do is we want to make sure that the top of the image is always going to be in focus, even if we crop off the bottom of the image of the hands, because we want to keep the nose and the eyes in focus. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that from center center. And we're going to do center top. Now that will make sure that the center top is the focal point and everything that resize is going to be based below that. So we'll hit save. We'll switch back over and refresh our preview site and we'll take a look at that in action right now. So let's just click over to the right slide. And as you can see now, the focus point on the eyes is retained. So as we start to scale this up, we get the whole picture in. But as we get larger, we now keep those eyes in focus so the focal point is set to the top center now obviously we can set this to top right top left bottom center you know we've got a range of different options on this so whatever the focal point of your picture is that's what you can kind of focus on when you set up the way that that is configured again i hope that makes sense i hope this demonstration kind of gives you a good idea of what i'm talking about and what i'll do is i'll give you an example now we'll switch back over and we'll change that over this time from being center top to center bottom so you can see now the picture changes to show the focal range is down the bottom of the picture. We'll hit save on that. Come back over to the front end of the site and refresh that. And once we refresh that, we'll just jump over to the relevant slide. And now you can see that it now focuses on the bottom center. And as we get smaller, you can see because we've set the height of this to be 550 pixels maximum, it's never going to go over that. And as we get smaller and smaller and smaller, we get to see more of the image based upon the size of our viewport, but based upon the bottom center. So again, that's another way that we can use the layout options for any of our slides to control exactly how they resize across the different kinds of devices. Well, that's just a short introduction to how you can control the position and the way that your viewport is displayed in your Slider Revolution slides. It allows you to maintain the most important aspects of your picture, and when you resize getting larger or smaller, that you don't lose those focal points. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Well, until next time, take care.